Well, first thoughts are that it is really easy to set up. I didn't even really look at the instructions. It's very roomy. I can actually stand up in this. It's nice. I can move around, which is what I wanted last year. I, uh, I don't know how easy it is to take down and restore, but I think for now, I'm going to grab a heater and toss that in here and see what kind of difference that makes. I've got my thermometer outside. So, yeah, I'm going to bring a thermometer in here and set up a heater and see what kind of difference it makes. All right, I just brought this electric heater out here. I'm going to let it run for a little bit and see what kind of difference it makes in here. All right, it has been about half an hour now, and this heater has brought the temperature inside of here from uh, 49 degrees Fahrenheit outside to 68 degrees Fahrenheit inside. So that's not bad. It'd be even better with a propane heater or a wood stove, which I have both of. All right, I'm going to sit down in this bucket for a minute and uh, talk. So I had been wanting to get into winter camping for several years, and last year I finally did it. I ended up, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, so I bought the least expensive winter tent that I could find, and the least expensive wood stove that I could find. And it's actually a little warm in here, hang on. I ended up buying the One Tigris Iron Wall tent, which is a backpacking tent. And the stove I bought was the Winterwell, I don't remember what it was, but uh, it weighs 13 pounds, it's made of stainless steel. So I can't really backpack with that stove because it's too heavy. So I figured I should either buy a titanium backpacking stove to go with my backpacking tent I should buy a heavier tent that's good for car camping and not for backpacking since there's really nowhere around here to backpack I decided I should go with the heavier tent yeah I decided to go with an ice hub an insulated ice hub because these things are so easy to set up I mean I like I said I never set this thing up before and it took me couple minutes I don't know I'll have to look at the timer on it but quite nice I'm still gonna keep the uh, the backpacking tent one of these days I will get a backpacking stove and find a place to backpack with it I decided that I should go with something that is gonna be good for car camping so what I decided to get was the Eskimo 949 ice hub the reason I decided to go with this one is because I'm sorry, I decided to go with the Eskimo 949i. The i means it's insulated. The reason I chose this one is one, because, well, it's insulated, should trap heat in a little better. And the other reason I went with this one is the windows are removable. So if they ever crack or anything, they're gonna, they should be easy to replace. I'm hoping I can order replacements. I didn't look to see if I can order a replacement. That should have been something I did, but the reason I wanted removable windows is because I can pull a window out and make a stove jack. So I can put my wood stove in here. Uh, I do need to do that. Making a fire jack should be pretty easy, but I'm going to have to modify my stove pipe as well. First thoughts on this? Yeah, really easy to set up. Very heavy. Um, not so fan of, 
not so much a fan of the zippers on the door. They seem really tight, but also, I mean, looking at, looking at this, I don't know if you can see that, but that bar is curved. Eh. One of the roof poles is curved. So I don't think I, I don't think I quite have this set up correctly. I think I need to pull up the corners or something. I just wanted to get it set up real quick and see how easy it was to set up and tear down. So I think, uh, I'm gonna go put this heater away and tear it down and I'm just rambling now. Kind of feel like it's a body bag. Hmm. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> 